shift focus to healthcare global now as reports suggest that the promoter CBC is exploring a sale of its controlling stake in the company. Ms. Ajay Kumar, the executive chairman at Healthcare Global, joins us on the show. Um, hi, good morning, Dr. Kumar. Thanks so much for speaking to us here on CNBC TV 18. Well, have you heard anything? Uh, you know, your co-promoter CVC looking at selling stake, and I find it quite, uh, you know, startling because they have increased their stake in 2021, and in the last year as well, they've gone ahead and increased stake by buying out some stake from you. Suddenly, they want to sell. Have you heard anything? No, I, uh, all I can say is uh, the best people to comment is uh, CBC who are our partners. I just want to say they have been very credible partners. And the last three years, as you know, we have done extremely well. And right. they have contributed a lot to the growth of HCG. And uh, really on this issue, I also have read the news. And I just um, really am not in a position to comment uh, as... Um, you can take it like probably they'll be the best one to comment on this at this but Dr. time. But Dr. Kumar, Dr. Kumar, you're a co-promoter, right? Uh, yes. So you're, you're telling us that you have not yet heard from them. But if they're looking at selling, you still have 10% in the company. Will you continue to hold on to that 10% or there is a good buyer? Reports are suggesting 20%, 50% premium. We have no confirmation <laughs> on that. But uh, will you continue holding the 10%? Suppose there's a good offer or will you also look to get out <laughs> of them? At this point, as an oncologist and as a founder, my goal is really to really drive the oncology to the limits, uh, to the high new highs. And because we are very much focused on patient-centric, that is why I was founded HCG and I will right. continue to do it. Yeah. No, so that's... <laughs> Mr. Ajay Kumar, uh, I, we understand you don't want to commit, but is that uh, that's <laughs> neither a yes or a no. So will you continue to hold 10%? No, I think uh, this news has come in. Obviously, you know, this is a major thing. I am very happy where it is now, where I am. Okay. So okay. I think uh, if and when it happens, as any private equity would do, at some point, you know, that is an internal decision they have to take based on their uh, models and return on investment. And could could you tell us if, uh, yeah, without going into what they will do, you would be aware of whether, you know, the fund life is coming to an end or, you know, because a lot of I, times I the motive... Uh, yeah, I don't think there is any fun life end for them as far as I know. Okay. Okay. So whatever the news is, it may be related to uh, looking at the return on investment and for them to take a decision. What but was their again, I want to emphasize what was their... that they are incredibly good partners. What was their purchase price? When did they uh, I come think, in? Uh, when they came in, the stock price, uh, major part of it when they bought uh, uh, per, per, the primary came in at 130 uh, about $90 million, 130 uh, rupees a share. Uh, that is what they came in in uh, 2000. Okay. Um, Mr. Ajay Kumar, have you had any discussions with them in the recent past? No, periodically, you know, they, we get a call from somebody, journalists or uh, uh, the media, and, you know, at that point, I do drive them. But uh, their, uh, their commitment has been there for quite some time. So we have to see what is this news and really uh, uh, the right time talk to them. Sure. Yeah. No, the reason I'm asking is because uh, do they need your consent in order to get in uh, another strategic partner, if at all? Now, they, on the agreement, we are uh, co-controllers uh, until a particular time. So at this mm. point, we have equal rights. Uh, technically, by the agreement, yes, they would require my okay at this point. And would you be okay with that? Uh, <laughs> you know, there's so many things uh, which have happened, and I really don't want to comment on that. I, I am, uh, you know, as a doctor, my focus is on the, the patient care quality. Yeah. Obviously, uh, you know, I would like to work with them. Let us see, uh, you know, what yeah. is this news about? Take a decision at the right time. So you may have a say in the decision then with regard to who comes in. But uh, Dr. Kumar, uh, you know, who do you prefer? Because in the past as well, you know, the balance sheet had bloated up a little bit, the debt had gone up, and then CVC came and things have gradually improved from there. And from there, the stock price as well, because our audience is the stock market, it's improved quite a bit. Who would you prefer now? Do you think that another PE comes in and believes that there is value from here? Because valuation-wise, you have some support. Or do you think another larger hospital chain comes yeah. in there and buys yeah. it? You know, I'm just speaking generally, as you know, uh, whenever the, any per person comes with a publicly traded company, they look at the future growth of this company for them to really invest, as any stock uh, investor does. 
But SCG is in a very strong position for growth because the number of centers we have had, 24 centers, uh, and we are in a consolidation phase. As we move on to the long-term growth phase of doing even greenfield, brownfield, and strategic alliances, mergers and acquisition, I think our growth strategy can be phenomenal because you know we are still not there in several parts of the country. And we are establishing centers of excellence across Southwest, East, and North East. Uh, Mr. Ajay Kumar, so for Mr. us, Ajay Kumar. strategically to grow is there quite a bit of options. Sure, sure. So I, I think what Nigel was trying to uh, get at is if and, and when another strategic partner comes in, would it make sense to get another large hospital chain in? You know, just to augment the growth that you're looking at. Yeah, it, it depends on, uh, of course, the valuation, what, uh, what if and when CBC wants to exit, what is their uh, uh, level of satisfaction. But okay. I think a long-term uh, partner would be very good for SCG as we move along. But we have to see, you know, uh, the realities of the game and decide. As you know, SCG hmm. has had several private equity investors. We have given yes. them successful exits and we'll continue to do that in the time. Okay, all right. Dr. Kumar, very quickly before we let you go, obviously, you have not yet heard from CVC. But with regard to your stake, suppose it is a 20% premium, will you go? Will you sell your 10%? Or do you want more than that? Do you believe the company is valued even more? <laughs> you know, I think I have diluted some because of my personal need. At this point, I am really very neutral. I want to really stay okay. focused on it. Got so it. I really cannot comment on We'll have to have a chat with you then the next time around in the last few, uh, last year or so, you have sold a couple of percentage points. So it will be interesting to see whether or not there's a deal in the works. But we look to have a chat with you in the coming week sure. in case something Definitely. is going on that front. Thanks for joining in.